with you. Well, why not? I, I need you somewhere where I can keep an eye on you. I can't think of a better place than right here. Have you forgotten everything that happened in this house? Have you forgotten about the night Billy threw me out of here in the middle of that storm when he found us together? Have you forgotten about your daddy almost giving up on life because of you and me? No. No, I haven't forgotten. That was a long time ago. Not to me. I remember it like it was yesterday. Things have changed, Reva. We are all in great danger right now. I don't care how much danger we're in. I just don't think I can stay here with you. There's, there's too many ghosts. Reva, if you refuse to stay here, where we can keep an eye on you, HB is going to wonder why. And he's always been able to see right through you. It's not going to take him more than about five seconds to figure it out. And once he does, he's going to resent you for thinking of him as a, a, a fragile old man. He does not want to be treated with kid gloves. I just don't want to see him hurt, Joshua. I understand that. I think he can deal with us. Well, what about separate bedrooms? Don't you think it's a little late for that? Am I interrupting? Oh. No, no, not at all. I'm just trying to convince Reva to stay here where it's safe. Of course. I wouldn't have it any other way. Are you sure? You bet I am. You're carrying my grandbaby. I want to be sure he's in the best of hands. All right. Then I'll do it your way. Better than that, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter's here. <laughs> Lordy, if you ain't a sad for sore eyes. <laughs> well, it's good to see you too. Oh, don't you know that's mutual? Oh, come on over here and sit down. Hey, when did you get back? Well, I just got back a few hours ago, and I, I couldn't wait to see the two of you. Well, I, for one, I'm glad you're back where you belong. You never should have been carted off Lord knows where in the first place. <laughs> she was in France. France? <laughs> oh, I reckon your mama must have loved that. She huh? sure did. She was the queen of the grape stompers. <laughs> well, I'm glad. She deserves to go first class once in her life. Oh, and you're broke. How are you? Well, we're doing fine and dandy here. This little bugger's kicking up a storm. <laughs> she just can't <laughs> wait to get out of there and... <laughs> be smothered with love and affection by her grandpa, right? Or his grandpa. At least she's not going to be born a foreigner now. No telling what she's going to pick up over you. We got to make sure that this little girl has got red, white, and blue blood in her veins, don't we? <laughs> yeah, well, I'll see what I can do about it. Where's Lillian anyway? I thought you'd bring her over. Oh, here she, uh, she had to stay home and tend to her company. Lillian had company at this hour? <laughs> Dinah and Ross. She's uh, helping them work out a little uh, domestic argument. Oh, good old Lillian. Yeah. Reva, how come those bodyguards came for me tonight? I thought we'd seen the last of them. Uh, that was uh, my doing, Hawk. I want to make sure everybody was safe. I'll see to it that they, uh, they don't bother you at all. Okay? Well, I don't like it one bit. I'm healthy enough to look after my own family, and I think maybe I better start doing that right now. Where's your suitcase? I'm going to take you right back to Reva again and stay there with you. Pop, I'm not going home. Well, you want to come back to the, the, the warden house with me? No, I'm staying here. Somebody broke into the chateau and tried to kidnap me. Kidnap? Nothing happened. Nothing happened because I was on my way here. But Joshua just thinks it's safer if I stay here. He's not giving the kidnappers a second chance at trying to get me. And I happen to agree with them. <sighs> Much as I hate to say it, I, I do too. All right, you two. You better take good care of my girls. We will. Don't worry. If anything happens to either one of them, you'll answer to me. You hear? Loud and clear. All right. Well, I 
Reckon we might as well let those bodyguards earn their keep. Take us home. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. <laughs> bye bye, honey. See you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Mm. Bright and early. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you and your red lips. Sister, you, your mama going back to Tulsa. Ah, uh, gee, Pop, I'm, I'm not sure. She's not staying in France, is she? She, she don't speak a word of French. Uh, no, no, actually, I, I think she's going to come back here. Springfield? Yeah, yeah, she'd kind of like to be with a grandchild, and uh, I'd kind of like to have her here with me. I mean, that, that won't uh, bother you and Lillian, will it? No, no, no. Sarah's welcome to live wherever she pleases. Now, Lillian, I'll be just, just fine. Well, come on, Roxy, we've got to let these folks get some shut-eye, huh? Okay. Okay, you guys can walk. Take care of yourself and be careful going home. Right, yep. Can you believe what a mother hen he's being? He has every reason to be, especially now. You know an unborn baby can be a mighty delicate creature. Ah, uh, well, it's uh, getting late. It's been a busy day for you. I think you should get to bed. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. He's right, darling. You look tired. Yeah, well, now that you mention it, I am kind of tired. Well, get going. Okay. Good night. Good night. This is your home. just came down to lock up. Go right ahead, Connie. I'm on my way up now. Good night, sir. Good night. Who is it? A uh, floor delivery. Did security let you come out? Yeah. Who are they for? For Melinda Sue Lewis. Who is it, Connie? Just flowers for Melinda Sue. You boys sure do work late, don't you? Yeah. Well, Ms. Lewis has retired for the evening. I'll sign for them. Okay, well, don't forget to give them to her. Uh, the person that sent them was real anxious for her to have them. She'll get them first thing in the morning. Oh, well, t tomorrow might be too late. What? I mean, they might die or something. <laughs> I'll take care of them. Don't you worry. Oh, sorry, here you go. Thanks. 